my lovelies, this is Simspell and welcome back to Niche Wizarding World with the Spellbook Tribe Reborn. When we left off in the previous episode, Bainald, Master Bainald over here, was keeping the tribe alive by plucking berries from these poison berry bushes, which she has kind of found herself huddled between, while her father faced off the brave Grand Wizard Ruzel, faced off against a berina to protect his youngest, youngest daughter? No, I think his half daughter and his youngest daughter actually. Two of his daughters. Um, so that was quite, quite spicy, quite exciting. And he also managed to take on an apprentice. His youngest daughter, Takey, I think, grew up a little bit into a teen. So she's been taken on as an apprentice. And Jail Brina, his stepdaughter, I think, has been taken on as an apprentice by Master Bequara, who is the female that we have right over here. Master Bequara is also expectant with Ruzales third child I think yeah so um Jailbrina over here who need, why isn't she an apprentice Jailbrina honey you we need to fix that apprentice there we go I'm sorry if that was a mumbo jumbo but Jailbrina is the child of Taztel and Master Bequara the niche things in this um, game of niche or this tribe particularly they don't stick to one mate forever they kind of are uh, open to taking on anyone as a mate as long as they're touched by magic we have looked at this beforehand but we have little takey over here who is trying very hard to catch up with her master and father we have jailbrina who looks very much like her mother and i find that adorable she has water body though which is awesome that means she can dive down and look for Oh, never mind. Yeah, she's got water body, which is awesome. That does not mean that she can dive down because <laughs> she's pretty useless. She can collect and that's it, which means she has to stay up on land. Hmm. Okay, we have Bainold who's been doing an amazing job. We have 51 food and it might not seem like much, but literally all of it's because of her. She's been sticking here and collecting food for the rest of us while everyone's been too busy dealing with the chaos of whatever's been going on down here. Now, we also have Gila Ilfrak, who is going to be sticking really close to Master Ruzel from now on. And even though Grand Wizard Ruzel can go ahead and um, walk really fast and skip from place to place, his movements are going to be seriously limited. He's going to have to control himself because of Ilfrak. Ilfrak can't go very far. And they have to be really close for him to make sure he's able to get his healing energy and his healing magic to Ruzel in time. And if that is the case, then I think we are all in agreement that um, Takey should be able to age up into a master. So that should be quite good for us. Now, you guys have also said that if there's an angry termite mound and one of the magic users manages to get themselves covered in termites, then someone might be able to do a favor for them. And I thought that was great. Frenel, for example, might be able to do a favor. Huh. And he might be able to mate with Bainald, for example, and they should have a healthy child. Now, if I can, because of that, I want to move Frenald over in this direction. Hmm. What about you? Oh, Aliantla is going to jump this way, guys. An alien lot is gonna. Oh, he can't even get rid of that. He can't even, guys. It's pointless. It's pointless. Um, what about Bainold? Can Bainold? No. Ruzel could, but I don't want to risk him. Unfortunately, guys, Ruzel is the only one who can even ah, take out that termite round. He's got the attack for it. Nobody else does, so it would be pointless venture to go ahead and even try. Ah, I thought maybe we could get Frenald someone, something happening, but we just might not be able to. Now, Ailey Antler, G and D, A and D, hmm, A and H, A and D, yeah, that's not too cool. I think Ilfrak was waiting for Takey because he's compatible with Takey. Oh my goodness, but apart from that, we might not get much breeding done. Hmm, that kind of sucks. But unfortunately, and I know some of you lovelies wanted Frenel to be bred, but I don't think we're going to be able to get that done. I am trying desperately, but I don't think we have anything, any way to make it so that he can give favors to others. Well, let's turn the day. 
We're getting low on food, and I feel very uncomfortable about that. But okay, Ruzel, yeah, he's gonna spend the rest of his life being really close to Ilfrak. <laughs> Ilfrak's gonna give out a healing call to him. And jump in this direction. Ruzel is going to... Ruzel really wants to get going. I don't think he appreciates being stuck over here. But I'm sure he's gonna jump this way and he won't mind plucking a berry and collecting a nut. His apprentice, on the other hand, ooh, can move. Look at that. Tiki's gonna come here and pluck a berry as well. She can really move, I'm proud of her. I'm very proud of her. Okay, that's pretty cool. So we've got some movement going on there. They've made headway on that. Bequara um, is gonna be pregnant for another two days and I think she is gonna jump back here to try and cover more ground with her apprentice. I don't, despite the fact that they faced off a berry now, I don't think they would stick in one place for too long. So, they're still all about exploration and stuff, and if they want to establish a society like the way they've planned, and I've said this before, where they have different settlements, we could say, that are isolated from each other, and they have a healer in each of them, and you know, their own magical societies, that'd be pretty cool. Obviously, all of them would be under the Grand Wizard or the Grand Witch, but I think that'd be pretty fun. And the way to do that is to actually get exploring done. Now, over here, Bainold... A and D, G and D. Yeah, okay. So Bainold would have made a great maid for Frenold. Unfortunately for Frenold, that just isn't gonna work. Um, Aliantla can't do much. Yep, he can't take that out. He could just stay and try, but it's probably not gonna work out too much. Frenold's gonna stay here though, and he's gonna pluck the berries. Bainold can't move much either because look at her, she's surrounded by food. And I don't think they're going to be willing to risk moving the nichelings too far from a food source. Because, ha, ah, in the past, they probably don't remember this. But their souls belong to nichelings who died from starvation. <laughs> and I don't think we want to repeat that. So, okay. Uh, okay, everyone's done for the day. Let's get them moving. Nice. Okay. Look at that, Ruzel is managing to stay alive pretty well. Okay, we're gonna get Ilfract her again. Ruzel's gonna grab this nut that's been falling and collect a berry, and I think he's gonna want to get moving. Probably in this direction. If possible, I think he wants to keep everyone together. We're gonna, okay, Ilfract's gonna move there. We're gonna have Apprentice Takey um, move next to this berry bush and pluck from here, I think. Wonderful, she can afford to do that. We will get Master Bequara, who can actually have a baby now. I think she's gonna jump into this permanent nest right here. Oof. Oof. Hmm. Hmm. I think she's gonna get off her check again and then jump back into the permanent nest. There we go. And she should be having yet another child, which is quite exciting. Her apprentice and daughter, Jill Brina, is gonna jump right over here, I think, and clear away this piece of grass. It is dangerous that she's next to the wilderness because if something jumps out of it, it could grab her, but this is all part of their training, all part of her training. She's gonna learn how to be evasive, which is pretty good because she's got great movement. Okay, and then we have our food source over here. I think Eliantla is still gonna try, it's, it's not working, but I think he's still gonna try his best to grab whatever he can there. Frenold is gonna spend his last day helping out Bainold because I think even though he never managed to get his um, favors and so he wasn't touched by magic, unable to breed, I think maybe towards the end of his life he developed a little bit of a crush on Bainold because she's just so beautiful and capable and she provides for the tribe and, and she's got such a beautiful unique coloring, she's like a gemstone. So I think like infused with magic is probably what he would say and I think he'll be very taken with her. So I think he'll spend his last day helping her clear out some of this space and just neaten the area where she spends a lot of her time, her little garden, really nicely. So I like that, that's pretty cute. Okay, let's turn the day. We're gonna have a death, but we're also going to have a birth. So let's settle down next to Master Bequara and see what sort of offspring she has, shall we? We, we have had three girls so far, so a boy would be good in all honesty. Okay, here we go guys. Holy cow, another girl, another female. I'm pretty sure this is a female. 
Yes, another female. Oh my goodness, we need males. We have no males. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so a B and C female that has, let's have a look, three collecting and one cracking. So she's quite useful. She can go underwater, but she can't. Oh, she can collect clans underwater. So that would actually be useful. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, what do we want to name this itty bitty baby? We want to name this child, oh, this is a good name. I'm gonna name her Sith. And this is a suggestion given by you guys. Little baby Sith, welcome to the family. She's gonna be growing up really quick. And this is pretty cool. As soon as they're born, they can jump out of the nest, which is awesome. It makes sense that they're, some species work like that where they're able to get moving as soon as they're born. Takey is gonna jump here and break this nest because material is important. And we've had a few niche things grow up. Right, we know that Sir Frenald passed away, but we had Apprentice Jelbrina grow up. So congratulations, uh, geez, what am I saying? Congratulations, I couldn't speak for a while. Jailbrina is going to get her orange gemstones because she is now a witch. Quite exciting. She's not aging up into a master, which means she can't take on an apprentice because she wasn't apprenticed under a grand wizard or a grand witch but she can definitely take on the title of witch. And she has to wait until she's 20 days old. And then when she's 20 days old, she'll automatically get the title of master because she's gained the experience. Cool. Okay. Jailbrina. Witch Jailbrina. So there we go. She's gonna get the title of witch. So witch Jailbrina. Wonderful, wonderful. Quite excited about that. And I don't remember what we normally call the nichelings. See, this is the thing. In the previous um, season, we just had so few nichelings who kept dying. And because of the age that we have, the ages that we had set and the short lifespan of the nichelings, only like all of the magical nichelings were trained by the Grand Witch or Wizard. And then they became Grand Witch or Wizard. And we only had like two like magical nichelings at a time. We've never had to deal with like the title of a nicheling that is a witch or just a wizard. Which is pretty interesting, which is why I was a bit confused. Like, oh wait, what do we call it? So I think witch or wizard is just gonna be the title they have uh, in the front of their names. There we go, she's a witch. How exciting. She can actually, guys, roll. Um, maybe not roll, but yeah, she can decide her two spells. She can cast her spells. And since this is not randomized, because it's not a favor, we get to pick. So let's have a look at her genetics. Hmm, that paw is quite useless. So if I wanted an eyesight would be good. Eyesight would indeed be good. Okay, so she is not that useful. If we wanted to make it more useful, I think a better paw and perhaps eyesight would do well. Paw and eyesight. Unfortunately, we only have the runner leg. So we're gonna have to just deal with that. Nothing else that we have that is gonna give us any more capability. So I'm gonna pop in runner leg and we are going to give her good eyesight. There we go, those are the spells that she's decided to cast. Nice. So she's gonna continue and she can breed now, A and D. She can breed, G and D. No one's overly compatible though. I don't wanna risk unhealthy children if I don't have to. Takey, for example, has five days and Ilfrak has 23, no, 17 days left to, um, before he passes away, and Takey has five days before she ages up. So they are a healthy pairing, and I think I'll be quite happy to let them breed rather than risk anything else. Hmm. So I think I'm gonna keep to that, let that be. Okay, we're gonna get Ruzel jumping here. He's gonna collect the berries. Ilfrak is gonna jump next to him, Pruh, and keep moving because he has to keep up with the Grand Wizard. Okay. Let's see, itty bitty baby Sith is gonna jump out of the nest and Bequara is going to most probably, actually A and B, A and H, oh yeah. Mm. So Bequara is I think gonna mate with Ruzel again because they are compatible, they are having children and they need a boy, we need a boy, we don't have any boys, this is not cool. G and D, A and B, ooh, okay. So he's, here is the Delio, actually. Um, Bequara. Iliantla could breed with 
Bei Kuar as well. Is he going to pass good genetics though is the question. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I feel as though we'd be better off breeding Ruzel with Bei Kuar because their children seem to have better qualities. But if Aliantla can breed, then I think he should get the opportunity to. And plus, he's touched by magic and he is compatible with Bei Kuara. So I think maybe Bei Kuara wants to take a new mate for now. Especially because, I mean, all of her children, at least the ones with Ruzel, have been really useful and they've been born with amazing qualities, but they've all been female. Maybe, maybe if she takes on a different male, a different mate, she will have a son. And they kind of need that for the tribe to continue. So Aliantla is going to try to romance Bekora and it has worked wonderful. She's going to jump here and clear away some grasses. Jailbrina is going to help out. There we go. They're approaching a tree, which should be useful for some of the nichelings here who can collect nuts. So that's quite exciting. And over here, Bainold is still staying. She's not moving and I don't know if she will. Maybe, maybe she's actually, oh geez. Whoa, well the sleeping bear's right there. Yeah, I think Bainold um, is done with the little garden. Her whole family is moving and I think she's inclined to move with them and find out what else this land possesses for them. Okay, so let's get the day moving, shall we? Well, okay, we had itty bitty Sith grow up into an apprentice. So she can actually, and this is actually great. I think part of the adaptation from the previous life is that the children, they grow up really quick. As soon as the babies are born, they're able to move out of the nest in case there's danger, in case they need to move away from something. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, so we have Sith who can be apprenticed. She'll get her light brown gemstones. And who can she be apprenticed to? Right now, we only have Grand Wizard Ruzel who has an apprentice. Mm, Sith could get apprenticed by Bequara. Um, or she could get apprenticed by Aliantla. Or even, in all honesty, Bainold. But I think she's gonna get apprenticed by Bequara, perhaps? Yeah, I think Bequara is the most experienced and should probably stay close to her mother. Although normally, hmm, I don't know, should we have something where if possible then the parents shouldn't exactly uh, apprentice the children? Maybe. If that is the case, then I can kind of see um, Sith being apprenticed to Aliantla because they're not related at all. Whereas Bainold is her sister and then Bequara is her mother, of course. So yeah, I think, I mean, she could even get apprenticed by Ilfrak. But, uh, yeah, I think she's gonna go for Aliantla, especially because Aliantla can move. So there we go, and plus, Ilfrak has other responsibilities right now. Apprentice Sith, welcome to the Wizarding Circle, my child. Okay, Aliantla has taken her on as an apprentice, and he is going to train her to the best of his ability. Let's get him to clear this. She is gonna- holy cow, look at how she can move! This is crazy! She can move so much! Okay, Bainold is gonna jump here, clear away this, and then jump in this direction. Wonderful. We're going to get Takey moving here, plucking a berry. We'll get... Oh, the berry has been plucked. We'll get Grand Wizard Ruzale to see if he can clear away that and move here. Ilfrak is going to do his little purring and then move ahead. There we go. Everyone's doing a great job of sticking together. I'm quite happy with how everyone's working as a team. Okay, let's get Jailbrina to clear away these grasses and jump here perhaps. We'll get Bequara to maybe come on the beach. Oh my goodness. No! 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 Bainold! Bainold! She got attacked by dark magic! She got attacked! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my flippin' goodness. Okay, guys. Okay. We're gonna have to say that the rogue males... Yeah, I think what we'll say is that the rogue males use dark magic to impregnate the females. Mm -hmm. And then any child born from um, like 
a rogue attack or a dark magic kind of attack is going to be born cursed. And they will say are going to get the, um, the dark brown gemstones. Unless... Haven't... Did, are we reserving that for sickly nichelings? I don't remember what we're using dark brown gemstones for. But, if we aren't using the dark brown gemstones, then what I'm going to say is that... Wait, are we using the dark brown gemstones for something, guys? Because I, I don't remember entirely. We might not be. If we aren't, if we are, please remind me. If we aren't, we're going to say that the babies who are born, if you're either sickly or you are born from a dark magic attack, you're going to be cursed. And yeah, cursed nations are going to be banished from the tribe. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Well, guys, with that said and done, I'm going to leave off here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.